Um, hello and welcome to another Budget Model Railways video. So I'm just working on another little layout here and as you can see I'm back to doing uh, a little micro shunting switching layout. Now this one is quite small, it is just 34 inches by 7 inches. So that's quite small. Uh, I got into this because some of you remember the cardboard one I built a long time ago with just one little siding in it that I had a lot of fun with. Um, I'm struggling with space again really and this I wanted to see how small you could really go and I think this is about as small as you could practically get. Now the board um, you can see here I had a bit of old shelf um, and I wanted to make it a bit bigger and I've just used some battening um, and if Doug can show you it's just screwed and glued on the end. Basically a, a good PVA works under pressure so you just need a screw to pull it in um, and that's given me that little board, uh, as I say, 34 by 7. Um, a couple of things to bear in mind when you're doing a shunting or switching layout. One of the important things up here is the head shunt. Now, it needs to take the biggest loco that you want to run on it. As it happens, I can get an 060 on this. And you also need to be able to get one wagon. You need that loco and one wagon because that makes a big difference to what shunting you can do. You also need to make sure that any passing loop, I'll just take this off, will take whatever you want to run in there. In my case, I know to make shunting interesting, you need two wagons and a brake van. Now I'm fortunate, I've got these short wheelbase brake vans, you've seen me do videos on them, uh, and that makes a difference. That gives you some variety in your shunting. And I also know that I can get two of the four wheel coaches on there. And I can also get one of my lovely trying bogey brake coaches on there. So that gives me plenty of scope. Now, normally I just leave one siding. This one I've put two in. Um, and that gives me a little bit more flexibility. Now wiring here is relatively simple. Let me show you what I'm doing at this end. Uh, I'll just clear a little bit of space here. Nice simple fiddle yard. This is just a piece of timber with the track on. Used ballast mat there, um, but actually I've just used cardboard on the rest because it's the same height. To power it, I've got a nice simple little Hornby clip there. And because I only want to run one loco at a time, and because I've got reverse, if you like, sidings, I've got a little power clip there, and they're just wired in together. The only thing to watch, obviously, is you've got your wiring correct. Now, I've used ballast mat here, and what I've got here is I wanted to do some research into the cheapest way of buying it. And this is the Javis rolls of mat, but this is a black, and for whatever reason, this is exactly half the price of their grey ballast mat. So I was quite happy to do that. It was only £4.75 for a big roll, whereas it's £4.75 for a small roll of the grey. Secondhand points as always, these happen to be Pico ones. I have used the track fitting screws that you've seen me use before, and they go on there just great. The rough layout, and these aren't the actual buildings, but we're gonna have a station building there. We're going to have some sort of goods building there. They're gonna have a crane there. And we'll have to have a little signal box along here somewhere. This will be the passenger station, goods area. Now the idea is I'm going to put a little bit of a base under here. This is going to be a dock. So this is a little harbour side shunting layout. Um, I've got a crane there to unload from wagons on and off the ships. I've got a, a rather nice, I had this for Christmas a couple of years ago for my father-in-law, a rather nice Hornby fish wagon. So this will be like a fish market up here that I can take my fish in and out, and I can run passenger trains in and out of there. Now I know from experience, uh, from my last layout, I was able, even with one siding, to shunt continuously for over 35 minutes, different combinations of passenger trains, mixed passenger goods and goods. With the two sidings, I think this will do pretty much whatever I want. We'll have a little back scene around it. It's very compact, you've only got the Fiddle yard actually was made for another layout, so it's, it's about six inches longer than it needs to be. So you could have a very compact little layout here with lots of shunting ability. 
Um, if you don't want a wagon in here, I can get up to a large prairie on there. So it's just what space you need, but that's very compact and a lot of potential. Um, very simple to build, uh, little baseboard, not very expensive. There's four points there. They cost me about three, 350 each. So it's not a lot of money on this one as always. And I'm gonna scratch build my own buildings because obviously I'm not gonna get off the shelf ones. I'm quite keen to try a low relief station, which is something I've not done before. So that's just a little idea there that I'm playing with. Lots of interesting things here, very, very compact, and a couple of ideas there to help you plan your own layouts. Now I will say that somebody commented, why do I do the passing loop this way? Why don't I put a point here and have a really long bay there? And the answer is that it doesn't, you end up usually needing a lot more space. This would end up here somewhere, it would add two or three inches. And it's all down to getting the most you can into a small space. Um, and this for me is a much more compact layout. So I'm hoping to put some work on this. Um, you know we have quite a few layouts on the go, but this is a nice little compact one that I'm hoping to be able to work on quite quickly. So I hope you enjoy watching it. Um, a little bit more detail here than we sometimes give. I've shown you the wiring and the layout and the planning. So I hope people find this a useful video. As always, please like, comment or subscribe. Subscribers have shot up. Thank you very much since we've done the free giveaway. And if you haven't seen that, have a little look. We're giving away a free brand new Hornby Loco. Um, a couple of videos back, have a little look at that. And thank you as always for watching. Hi, thanks for watching the video and for the nice comments. Uh, click on the left for a previous video in this series. Click on the right for another video you might enjoy. And please don't forget to click to subscribe, like, comment, etc. Thanks again.